So my name is Mr. Define Clothing. So um, in today's video, I want to introduce us to how to cut trouser. Now, before we cut trouser, I have some information to give us to lay the foundation for us. Now, there are several methods of trouser cutting, like different formulas, different ways. Now, um, those methods should not bug you or should not be your problem. What should be your problem now is which one are you going to use to learn first, then subsequently you now advance to learn all those other methods, right? So now, I will introduce us to three methods or two methods that I will mention, but I will use one method to teach us how to cut trouser. And then, as we progress in our intermediate and advanced classes, you will now get to see other methods I will have listed as well. So, the first method I use, methods of trouser cutting, methods of trouser cutting, right? Now, the first method here I will have is uh, what I call the straight line trouser. Straight line method. In this method, there is no curve. All the lines are straight. That is why it's called the straight line trouser. And I think it's the simplest method ever. Now, the second method is what they call the plumb line. The plumb line method. Now, the third method, which I call the best fit. The best fit method right so this will be the three methods i might mention to us now but then for the learning purposes please i will make use of the straight line trouser for those of all that are still new in this field so that they will understand better and know how best they can um, approach a trouser cutting now at the mention of trousers most people get scared of it's hard it's not hard it's for you to know what to do we have to put your tape and how to do it and then you will get this perfectly well so um, I will take us to this whole method and then, like I do say, please bear in mind there are different ways of doing things. Now, the way I teach, I'm not showing you this because this is the only method available. No, I'm showing you because this might be the easiest method or the most comprehensive method you can lay your hands on to work. Now, when you have mastered this method, if you now not be fit to advance your knowledge, you cannot search for more knowledge on this particular outfit. Now, we should not limit ourselves to any particular knowledge we have gotten, always open your mind, open your heart to learn new things as you progress in any field of skill you have find yourself in. So now, um, we are going to adopt, um, use the straight line method, right? So let me give you a sketch on the board of how this straight line method looks like. Now, in cutting trouser, let's assume that this is my material unfold this way, my fabric unfold this way, right? Now, the first thing you need to do is to mark two inches at the hem side, that's for, at the leg side. How do you know the leg side? The right hand side of the table is always the down part of the trouser. This is how I walk. So, from this base, you mark two inches high. Now, these two inches will come in this form, and this house for the ankle folding, right? That's for the hem folding. Then, from this point, you now apply the trouser length of your customer. So, let's assume that the length of the trouser is somewhere here. You mark the trouser length. So, here becomes your waistline waistline then here is your hemming line that, that you, the hem that the folding line hems your folding line right now after this the next thing you will do is to determine your crouch now the crouch formula I gave us is gotten by hips over four now that means that you have to divide your customer's hips measurement by four so whatever hips you get divide by four now still on steel on this same formula I still have some adjustments or some alterations I make and those adjustments are gotten by deducting half an inch on any trouser length that is not up to 39. Meaning, if the length of a customer is from 38 inches downwards, 38 at 7, 36, you deduct half from whatever answer you get from the hips over 4. Right? So, assuming you have a hips of 40 and the length of 38, I will divide 40 by 4, which is 10. So, because of 38 is not up to 39, I will minus half. Meaning that the customer will have a crack depth of 9.5. I hope you get that. So if I have a hips of 48, by 4 is 12. Now if the length is up to 39 and above, I will divide the 48 by 4, which is 12. I will mark 12 at the person's crouch. 
right? So if we say have a heaps of 48, but the length of 36, then I will divide 48 by 4, which is 12. I will not have, which will give me 11.5. That means for a customer or a client that has a heaps, or sorry, a length of less than 39, might not have from whatever answer you get in the heap of our four deductions. I hope that is clear, right? Fine. Now, let's work with, let's assume that we have a heap of 40 here, then you measure 40 over 4 is 10. From the waistline, you get, you mark 10 inches downwards this way. From here, 10 inches downwards, they have your 10 inches point here. So here it becomes your crouch line. Right? Now, the next thing you would do is to get your hip point. Usually, conventionally, hip point is 2 inches above the crouch. When I mean convention, I mean the um, universal agreed formula for working on fashion designing, conventional rules, right? That's the rule guiding fashion designing. But then these rules are subject to changes, adjustments, and alterations. So which, as a best book teller, you need to know how to go about it. What I mean by best book teller is for those of us that make clothes for customers on a daily basis. It's called a best book teller. Why those that make to, to sell are called ready to wear designers, right? Fine. So you meet me in um, the construction video of this.